Hello everyone, um, we're at the start of the Lee's Paddock track today and this is going to be the first of a four part video I'm going to do on a hike we're going to do. So it's going to be a four day hike we're doing, um, up the Lee's Paddock's track to New Pillion Hut, then along the Overland track to Kiora Hut and we'll go up Manosa as well through there and then through the Never Never, Backfire Junction Lake and the Moses Creek track and that'll take us out to just up the road from here. I think it's around 60 kilometers in all we're gonna do. Um, today is probably actually the longest day in terms of kilometers, but possibly the easiest day in terms of terrain, because the Lee's Paddocks track is pretty flat and easy, and then we got a bit of a climb, a couple hundred meters. Should be a good day, a couple of nice waterfalls, there'll be some nice mountain views, and um, I'll see you a bit further along. I've done this walk before, but only as far as Oxley and Lewis Falls, so. Most of it will be new to me. Uh, I've reached the familiar bridge over the Mersey, the swinging bridge. Only one person at a time allowed. And if I remember from last time, it is very swingy. The river is substantially lower than it was in July when I was last year. But it's still really, really, really pretty. Well, we're coming into the first little detour. And this will be to Lewis Falls, 135 metres away. Probably dump the packs here and then go check it out. Well, we've reached Lewis Falls, and as you can see, it's definitely more of a wintertime waterfall. When I was here last time, it was pretty much spanning that entire cliff you can see there. Now, just sort of go through a narrow chute. Still an interesting waterfall. And it'd be a nice pool down the bottom there as well. At another junction, maybe 10 minutes past uh, Lewis Falls, and this is the way to Oxley Falls. It's about five minutes down this way. Well, I've reached the base of Oxley Falls, and it's actually quite incredible to see the contrast between the flow now and back in winter. It's impressive still, but you look at the amount of bare cliff there is. It's really interesting to see the difference, actually. No way could you get to this point when I was here last. So we've arrived at the amazing Lee's Paddocks. It's actually private property, which is interesting, given we're basically in the National Park. We're just going to keep going a little further up until we get to Warragara Creek, which could just be over here. In fact, it might be a bit further. Um, and we should find the Lee's Hut around somewhere as well. Unfortunately, my GPS isn't working, so it's a bit hard to know exactly where we are. But we've just got to keep following the track, and I'm sure we'll work it out. It's a really spectacular spot. That's Pillion East up there as well, the nipple-shaped mountain, and we'll be up around that area tomorrow. So I'm taking off from our lunch spot, and I'm going to uh, go off to try and find Ladder Falls, which is, I think, about a kilometre further along the paddocks. And then um, up a side creek, um, the, I think apparently like the lowest falls drop pretty much right onto the paddocks and then there's some slightly larger falls further upstream that you scramble up to. So I'll see how I go. I don't think it'd be too far, probably a 15 minute one way hike, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Well I've reached the lower tier of Ladder Falls. Um, there are several more larger tiers further up, but looking at that, I'm not really sure I'll bother. It's just a trickle of water flowing in summer. It'd be quite nice if there was more water, so I'll have to come back, but yeah, it's pretty underwhelming today, to be honest. I was pretty much right with my estimation of time. It's about 15 minutes uh, from the Warragara Creek crossing, and hopefully the waterfall on Warragara Creek is looking a bit better than this one. Well, I changed my mind about going to the upper tiers of Ladder Falls, and I've reached what I believe is the main tier of it, the main single drop. Probably about 10 metres high, and it would be really nice with more water, but obviously, just trickle today. There's pretty much a constant climb up cascades to get here, 
and there was actually some reasonably nice views into the paddocks. It was sort of like one really long cascade and the last little plunge and this little bit of flattish section and then this falls. So anyway, I'll see you back down to the paddocks and um, I'll be going out to Devil's Cauldron on Warragara Creek next. So hopefully that's a bit better than this one. Well, we're on our way out of Lee's paddocks. You can see the hut just down there. And um, as you can see, the track is pretty faint out of here. But you just sort of got to come to this corner and I can see a blue sign through the trees there. So hopefully it's obvious enough once we get there. And um, I mean, I won't be following the track initially because I'll be going up to the waterfall, but hopefully the actual route is clear. I'm at the point where the track starts to hit up this hill. Uh, there's a marker just in there. However, I'm going to be ducking off the track now to go to the uh, Devil's Cauldron on Warragara Creek, which should only be, a, well, the creek's just over here, and the fall should only be a couple hundred metres upstream from this point. I'm actually not exactly sure how far it is, but I don't think it's too far. There's the creek just in there. So I'll head along upstream and hopefully I'll get there soon enough. I've actually ended up on top of the waterfall because uh, I had to go above the banks of the creek because there was not really a good point to uh, get, get down to it because it's pretty much just cliff walls on either side for a fair ways downstream. I'll be able to make my way down to the bottom um, and from there I'll walk downstream and I'll have to find a way back up then. But it's an amazing spot up here. Look at all just the big bowls cut out in the creek. Really, really unique. And I'll see you when I find a way down. Well, I'm at the base of the amazing Devil's Cauldron. Uh, it's a really cool spot. It's a bit like a larger version of Secret Falls in Hobart, but much more impressive. Maybe a seven or eight metre plunge. And the gorge is just incredible. Well, after having done a very, very long and steep climb through some rainforest to get out of the drainage of uh, Warra, what's it called, Creek, Warragara Creek, we're now going through some more open plains. The track um, was actually quite difficult to follow up the climb, although there are a lot of ribbons there which made it much easier, but if not for the ribbons underfoot, it was close to non-existent a lot of the way. And there's some nice views now opening up some of the surrounding mountains, Pelion East, Mount Oakley up ahead, and we should be getting to Reedy Lake pretty soon, I reckon. So I'll, should, I'll see you there. Passing along Reedy Lake now, it's not the most scenic lake in the world, although it is very easy to see how it got its name. The logbook just back there as well. Uh, so we've reached the terminus of the Lee's Paddocks track and we're now on a much friendlier looking boardwalk. There's Lake Eyre and um, it's I think Mount Oakley just behind it. We've got about another three, three and a half k's to go until we get to Pillion Hut and it should be probably the easiest stretch of the walk. Um, we should get there around 5.30 which will hopefully be early enough to secure a hut spot but we'll see how we go I suppose. I'm just hiking near Lake Eyre along the Arm River track now and I thought I may as well wrap up the video for today. I've still got a couple more kilometres to do but there's not going to be too much more to see I don't think. I might add a bit of a clip of Mount Oakley or anything at the end if there's a nice sunset because there's a nice view of it from Pelion Hut. But yeah it's been a good first day on the track. I think in terms of kilometres it's going to be the longest of the four days we'll end up doing um, but it's also not got any real bush bashing or any humongous climbs besides that steep one out of Lee's Paddocks. Pretty scenic day as well, especially Lee's Paddocks and the waterfalls, although uh, ladder falls was pretty underwhelming. But besides that, it was, it's been a good day, I reckon. Tomorrow we're going to be going out Mount Ossa, um, which is the highest peak in Tasmania. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.